This is a poetic analysis of comparative anatomy and physiology. Matt Bain, Biology Department. Greetings. Let me lay out the situation, cause context is important in any situation. Anatomy class, University of St. Thomas, it's got a snooty reputation, but I got soul and that's a promise, okay? So we have this assignment, give a presentation, a knowledgeable alignment, and I couldn't decide on one thing to do, so I'm just gonna give you a whole semester review. And I apologize for not speaking with a formal structure, but life is always flowing, it's an evolutionary rupture. So let's have some reflection on all that we learn, on the history of selection in anatomical terms. Started with the basics of evolution and morphology And went into phylogenetic paleontology The evolution of chordates to amniotic creatures Sprouting new traits and cinemapomorphic features We learned of tiktalic from water to land And the developing girdles that allow us to stand New sensory perception, new selective pressures And a whole new category of environmental stressors Then came the study of the skeletal systems And the adaption pressures of different conditions we Learn all about the appendicular and axial, their structural support and attachment for hepaxial, zygapopophysis for terrestrial movement, invertible changes, these adaptions are proven, now it's fins to limbs, and the origin of girdles, and the temporal fenestra, and the anapsid turtles, and I never would have known that some bones in my ears formed from ancient jaw bones over many, many years. Now comes type of muscles like the non striated smooth Fascicles and filaments and myofibril tubes The homologous trace of preserved innervation With behavioral demands on differentiation Undulatory movement or reducing apaxials These changes depend on the usage of axials Tension length curves and elastic conservation Cross section area implies force generation That fatigable meat which easily tires Man I love the taste of those fast switch fibers. <laughs> white meat. That's white meat. White meat chicken. And it's all controlled by a neural network of connections, neurons and glia in specific functional sections. The synapses and dendrites and myelination, <clears throat> insulating axons for electric communication. <laughs> Ancestral innervation has been conserved for so long. And I actually learned from that cranial rap song the three parts of the brain, hind, mid, and fore. Some shrink in taxa and others grow more And looking back, I developed a gratification For late suture fusion and a jaw muscle mutation You know, cooking and bipedalism was also important in that aspect yeah. After the neurons, we look at how sensation commences Organs, receptors, and the origin of senses Chemo receptors for the other sense of olfaction And the purpose of aquatic lens light refraction And now I know my dog sees black and white because our mammalian ancestors were most active at night Dang. Amplitude tympanum and hair cells to hear And I can also tell you lots about the sloths in an ear What? <laughs> I love science Okay, okay. Yeah Well we've come a long way and acquired much knowledge But you know, I guess that's just what we do here in college Sleep deprived speakers on copy from beakers We have conversations on the implications And the memorizations of objective informations But stop, what about real life applications? Damn, man, I don't know, what did you learn? This course taught me life is a complex web of connections And explosions of divergence molded by selections A self-changing creation, an intricate lattice Evolutionary pressures, an innovative apparatus And I thought about our status as elastic steel hominoid Are these same types of pressures all still employed? The answer is yes, we are part of the system An evolutionary product from the selection of wisdom Amazing, enlightening, and to me it was frightening, frightening to finally see the beauty in morphology, the cohesiveness structure of physiology, ancestral depth of embryology, and I finally came to realize that I love lifeology.
And looking back, I really have learned a great deal Sam deserves respect, cause he always keeps it real yeah. We learned all about evolutionary development And now we understand their anatomical structural relevance And I also learned, showing up late for a test Is not a great way to perform your best Well thank you for listening, I'll conclude with a gesture I hope you all have an excellent rest of the semester